there, there can be uncomfortable conversations that we have to have with our patients and those social barriers can really bump up against what we need to be able to do. It's uncomfortable to talk to someone about their sexual practices or orientation. It's uncomfortable to talk to someone about if they inject drugs, etc. But that's our responsibility. And that's the reason our patients are coming to us and trusting us. In order to overcome those barriers, I believe that it really comes down to building a relationship with a patient. And oftentimes that, that comes outside of the context of those awkward social discussions that we have to have. It's just sitting down and establishing rapport with a patient and hearing what their life is like and building a little bit of trust. And after that's done, it becomes a little easier to start having those more difficult discussions because that's why they came to us. That's why they're entrusting us. I sometimes think of the exam room being somewhat similar to a confessional booth. Um, patients tell us things that they only tell a priest and they'll sit down and they'll share their heart and their soul with us. And sometimes all we have to do is listen. Sometimes we do need to ask some probing questions. But patients don't mind. They understand that, that that's the reason they're there. And unless we, unless we ask those difficult questions, we're not gonna know. Um, I've never had a patient get mad at me for asking their sexual orientation or if they inject drugs. As long as I've done it in the context of building trust and relationship. If I walk into an exam room abruptly and stare down at them and ask them accusingly if they inject drugs or how many sexual partners they have, they're going to feel uncomfortable and they're going to pull away from us. And that really highlights the importance of entering an exam room in a comfortable way that the patient can accept and sit down with them and make eye contact, sometimes make physical contact, you know, putting a hand on the shoulder and such, and listening and working through that, that visit a little bit before rushing in to some of those other questions.